perfect. Okay. Hey, everybody. Um, feel free to join class now. Uh, I'm going to post a link in the chat box if anybody else wants to join. Feel free to. There we go. <laughs> Hey. Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. And you? Good. Good. Nice to meet you. I've Good never job. been in your class. Oh, yeah? Um, what's your yes. name, Christian? My name is Christian. Christian. Where are you from? I'm from Argentina, I'm sorry. Oh, you are? Cool. Um, I was in... Yeah, I was in um, Argentina for six months last semester. Where in Argentina? In Buenos Aires. Oh. Are you working here? I, I live in the States. I live in, in Brooklyn. I was, I was going to school there. Oh, really? What, what yeah. were you studying here? I studied political science. Oof. Yeah. Hard. Hard. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not really that hard. Um, but yeah, that's what I studied. I'm in, I'm in college right now, so, yeah, I'm still in school. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Who else is here? Hey, Alex Aponte. And who else? Eileen, is it? Eileen Prestes. Hi. And I can't hear you. It's fine. Don't worry. <laughs> I can't hear you, but it's fine. Um, but doesn't work. Sorry. And Angel, hey Angel. And hi. I'm good. How are you? Great. And Shunwi, hey Shunwi. Shunwi Singh. Saying. Hello, teacher. Long time no see. Yes, are long time. How are you? Fine, thank you. You are very handsome. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, cool. Who else is here? So, okay, so everyone, today's class is on grammar, okay? This is high level, high level grammar class. Okay. Teacher, um, I like grammar. What? Question. I like uh, grammar classes. Good, good. That's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be covering prepositions, um, and we're going to be covering prepositions today, articles. Nouns and pronouns, adverbs, adjectives. We're going to go over everything today. All right? So today's class, we're going to be doing a little bit of everything, um, covering basic English grammar. OK? OK. All right, so we're going to start off with, with prepositions. OK? And then, and then we're going to, after we do prepositions, or, or part, first we're going to start for parts of speech. Sorry about that. Parts of speech. Okay. First we're going to do parts of speech. And then we're going to create our own sentences. Okay. And then after that, we're going to do a speaking activity. Okay, and then at the end, we're going to do vocabulary. All right, uh, we're going to learn how to, how to figure out the definitions of words from prefixes and suffixes. Okay, so we're going to do a lot today. All right, um, and please feel free to stop me if you have questions. All right. 
So first thing we're going to do is identify parts of speech. Okay? So I'm going to read this out loud, all right? And then we're going to answer questions after after I read this out loud for everybody. Okay? Okay. Can everybody see? Yeah. Yes. Yes? Okay. Okay. It's right. very clear. Good. Okay. I want to be volunteer to read this sentences. Okay. Um, let me, I'm going to read this first part and then afterwards we're all going to get a chance to, to read a question and answer it. Okay. All right. So I'll read this first part. Once you have learned about nouns, pronouns, verbs, adjectives, and adverbs, you will be able to identify them in sentences and tell them apart from each other. Some words can be used as more than one part of speech. This is particularly true of words that can be both nouns and verbs. Pay attention to how a word is used in a sentence before you decide if it is a noun, verb, adverb, or adjective. For example, in the sentence below, book is used as a verb. Will you book us a court for 3 p.m.? All right. But in the following sentence, book is a noun. I need to look for my math book. All right. So do we see how book here is used as a verb and book is used as a noun? The differences? All right. So there's different ways that you can use one word as a verb or a noun. In this, in this question, they're asking us, what, what do you think that means? Will you book us a court for 3 p.m.? What do you think that means? Reserve. Reserve, exactly. All right, so it's a book means to reserve. All right. Remember that verbs show action or state of being. Nouns identify a person, place, or thing. There are common nouns and proper nouns. Proper nouns are names of people, places, or events, which are always capitalized. Uncle Joe lives in San Francisco. All right. So this is a proper noun, and so is San Francisco is a proper noun. Okay. Adjectives and adverbs describe other words. Adjectives describe nouns or pronouns. Adverbs describe verbs, adjectives, and other adverbs. Many adjectives can be made into adverbs by adding an ly ending. His total bowling score was 145. Total is an adjective in this sentence. That is totally awesome. Totally in this sentence is an adverb. Okay. Any questions? Sorry, teacher. Yes. Uh, I don't have any question, but can you share with us the link of that uh, document? Um, I'm actually not allowed to for copyright purposes. For copyright issues, um, I'll probably get in trouble for it. Uh, um, can so. you can you underline it and put it on the chat books, please? I really need that yes. that information. Yes, I can. I can do that. No, but I mean all the information in the beginning. From nouns? Uh, yes, from the, I remember that very shows and actions. And okay, after. okay. Because no I always get confused with that. I know, yeah, it's confusing. And then we're going to do some exercises to, um, to reinforce what we just, what I just read. But I'll t copy it. Post it. Okay, I just posted a lot in the chat box. <laughs> um, Thank you. Yes, no problem. Okay, so now we're gonna go and do some ex some uh, some exercises 
identifying the parts of speech that we just learned about, okay? Um, so we're, what we're going to do is we're going to go down the row, all right? Everyone is going to have a turn to speak, okay? So first one, Alex, Alex Aponte. Yes, teacher. Can you read number one and tell me the answer? Okay, um, I know. Mm -hmm. A, is a person, place, or thing? Perfect. B, chose action or a stage of begin. C, describes a noun or pronoun. D, describes a verb, adjective, or a verb. Mm -hmm. Okay, the answer for my personal opinion is... Okay, let me see. Mm. A? A, perfect. Okay. So, yes. And now is a person, place, or thing. Um, Aline, press this. I don't know if she can hear us. Um, Angel, Perdomo. Yes. Can you do number two for us? Number two? Yes. An actor is a person, place, or thing. Show action or state of being. Describe a noun or pronoun. Describe a verb, adjective, or adverb. I think this. See. Um. Does everyone agree? You're close. C or D? It's D. D. Yes. Describe an adjective or adverb. Yes. So adverbs can describe other adverbs as well. Yes. All right. Number three. Um, question. Yes. Number three. Sure. Yes, a verb is a person, place, or thing, shows action or state of being, describes a noun or a pronoun, describes a verb, adjective, adjective or adverb. Now, a verb shows action or state of being. Perfect. So number three is B. Perfect. Um, Felcar, can you do number four for us? And I Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, I think you have a bad internet connection. Can't really hear you. So sorry, Felker. You have a bad internet connection. I can't, can't tell you right now. Um, sorry about that. Mm, Samira, are you with us? Yes, hi right. teacher. Can you do number four for us? Yes, of course. Uh, an adjective is a person, place, or thing. Uh, shows action or state of being. Describe noun or person. Describes verb, adjective or adverb. It is a C. Yes, Describe it. noun or, or noun. Perfect. Um, perfect. Okay, number five. Uh, Shen we? Mm. Can you do number five? Down. So in the rest of these, we're going to write the name or just say the name of the underlined part of speech. Okay, so in each sentence, there's a word underlined. We have to figure out whether it's a noun, verb, um, pronoun, adjective, or adverb. Okay? Number five. The hungry cat scrunched and the bank door. 
The word hungry is an adjective. Yes, hungry is an adjective. Yes, perfect. Hungry is an adjective. Good job. Continue. Yes, Alex. Alex Aponte. Yes, yeah, teacher. Can you do number six? We spent the summer months at the beach. Okay, spend, spend, spend or spend? Spend. Spend. Okay, spend is a verb? Perfect. Yes. Okay. Um, Angel. Yes. Can you do number seven for us? I left my backpack in the car this morning. Uh, morning is a uh, um, adjective. Mm, not quite. I don't know. Um, other. So it's a. It's a noun. Noun, yes. 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 Sorry. Okay. It's confused a little. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Okay, um, who's next? Chen? Or Chen? Along? Yes. Hi, can you do number eight for us? Hi, this is. Uh, Hi. Uh, when it's rain, I like to go to the vo movie. Mm -hmm. Rain is a verb. Verb. Yes. Perfect, a verb. Uh, Christian, can you do number nine for us? Yes. He sat by the window and watched it the rain. It's a noun. It's a noun. Perfect. Frelkar, is your connection better now? Uh, really? I don't know. You can tell me. Yes, yes, know. yes. I can hear you. Perfect. All right. Can you do number 10 for us? Number 10? Yes. I could hardly hear them speaking. I already did. What do you think? <laughs> what do I think about what? What do you think the word hardly is? What part uh, of speech is it? It's a adjective. So let's see. So adjectives describe a noun or a pronoun. Yeah. All right. So remember, adjectives describe a noun or a pronoun. What is what does the word here mean here? What what part of speech is here? Here. It's a verb. It's a verb. It's a verb. So what speech does hardly have to be? What part of speech does hardly have to be? Teacher, again. Teacher, what part? What part of speech describes a? What part of speech describes a verb? A good head. An adverb, yes. An adverb. Perfect. So, adverbs describe verbs, adjectives, and other adverbs. Yeah. Sorry, teacher. Okay. Yeah, you're no right. Problem. No, no, no problem. We just uh, we're learning. We're learning here. <laughs> okay. All good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and let's see who's next. Samira. Yes. Are you number eleven? Yeah. My cat prefers dry food. Mm -hmm. uh, dry. It is uh, an adjective. Perfect. Adjective. Adjective. Um, Shinwei. Hello, teacher. Hi, number twelve. Number twelve is always watching a football game. Mm -hmm. Football is a uh, football is uh, is a uh, no. adjective. Yes, an adjective. Adjective. Does everyone understand why? 
No. <laughs> so, so the game, game is a noun. It's just, and football describes the type of game that you're watching. Okay. So you can, there's different types of games. There's basketball games, soccer games, wrestling games. Neighbor. Right? So. Neighbor game. Yeah, exactly. So football is describing the noun game. So it's an adjective. Okay. Um, Alex. Yeah. Number 13. Mm -hmm. Okay. I got a new football for my birthday. Mm -hmm. Football is the... It's a noun. Noun, perfect. Thanks. Teacher. Yes? Uh, I know football is a game, but mm -hmm. I don't I don't understand what in this sentence is because you can't what, you can get that? a I mean you can't get a, a game football. I don't know it's football a ball in this yeah. case. Yeah, um wait, is your question what is a football or what Yes, because I know football is a game, but you you can't yeah, so you this can't is a, have a game. Yeah, so this is um they're talking about American football. Yeah. It, can, it can be another football. one. It, it can be another one. Yeah. Technically, yes. football is soccer. Technically, but in America, football is with the football. Yes, I know. Yeah. But but I mean, it, he got a new football for her for his birthday. Yes. Or her birthday. Mm -hmm. But but I don't know what football in this case means because I mean you can't. They're they're talking about an actual. An actual physical football. Yeah. They're talking about this. Hold on. Yes, it can, it can be either the game or the ball. It can be the. They're the talking ballon. about this. Okay. okay. In this case, football is a is a ball. Yes. Exactly. All right. Yeah. So in this case, you're talking about this football. Yes. Okay. All right. And in the other case, you're talking about this, the game. Right. Okay, yes. Which one? Oh, yeah. Football. Yeah. So that's a little bit of a difference there. Yeah, it's, a, it's different than the other. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay, who's next? Angel? Hi, Angel Perdomo? Yes? Hi. You just, you just joined class. But what we're doing um, is we are identifying the part of speech that each underlined word is. Okay. Okay. I read. Yeah, can you do number 14? Yeah. I learned a lot about grammar in third grade. In third grade. It's an adjective. Yeah. Yes, perfect. Yes. Okay, and uh, Alexander, post one. Oh yeah. Hi. Yeah. Can you do the last one for us? What did you? Can you do number fifteen for us? All right. Uh, I usually don't like to go shopping. Mm -hmm. I usually it's a adjective. Ooh, cool. No, no. Adverb. Come on. Adverb. Adverb. Yes. Perfect. Adverb. Yeah. Adverb. Yes. So adverbs describe verbs. Um, they verbs. And right here yeah. we have like. To like is the yeah. verb. You and also remember that adverbs usually end in L Y. Yeah. Okay. Can you repeat again what you said? Yes, I wrote it in the chat box too. But adverbs end in L Y. Okay. Yeah. And the and the letter L and the letter Y. Okay. Okay. So, teacher, do you speak Spanish? Yes, a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Very far. <laughs> <laughs> but I spent I spent six months in Argentina. Um, All last, right. last year, studying Spanish and political science. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. All right, now we're going to do um, another exercise with parts of speech, okay? Kind of like what we did before. 
All right. Well, this time we have to identify what part of speech um, they're indicating for us. Okay, so it's not underlined this time. This time we have to choose which of the words are prepositions or pronouns or adjectives, whatever. Okay? Okay. All right. So the first one, I'll read the example out, and then everyone will have a chance to go. All right? So the example here is they ask you to find the verb in the sentence. Okay? So the sentence is, the blue shrieks running back exploded off the line of scrimmage. So the verb here is exploded. Okay. Who can try number one for me and tell me what the preposition is in the sentence? I want to try number one. Okay, so we'll start with you. Number one. Number one. Mm -hmm. He walked around the corner. The preparation is around. Exactly. Number one is around. Perfect. Number two, um, Yolanda, can are you okay to do it, or are you eating? <laughs> can you do number two for us, Yolanda? <laughs> Or if you're eating, it's fine. All right, Alex. Okay. Okay. Alex Ponte. Okay, Paul hopes that she will sing with the child. Um, sing. 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 So, yes. so in this case, we're looking for the pronoun. The pronoun? Yes. Okay. So what's the pronoun here? Who remembers what what is a pronoun? Um uh, Paul. Paul how uh, Paul how with that she will see it with the shirt. Um, Paul it can be Paul T shirt. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's Paul. And there's the one pronoun. and there's one more pronoun. Yeah. What's the other pronoun? The other pronoun told how that she will sing. Sing? Mm -hmm. Sing is a verb. Sing the verb, yeah. With a choy. Choy, who's choy? So the other pronoun is she. She. Teacher, I think I think Paul is Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I got. It. I don't know how how Paul got that. She is the another pronoun. Yes. Thanks, teacher. Okay. Does anybody have uh, any questions? Yeah, teacher. I, yes. It's, I think Paul is a uh, noun, isn't it? Paul. Yes, Paul is a noun. Um, but pronouns usually name people, so that's what we call, a, I think, I believe. Actually, yeah, sorry, you're right. Paul is just a noun. Paul is just a noun, she is the pronoun. She is what we call per So she is what we call a personal pronoun. Okay? okay. Alright. So in this sentence, number three, Alex Aponte, can you number three for us? Yes. Uh, can Gary help him with the science project? Yes. yes. Okay, the the pronoun is Henry project? No. Henry. Can I teach him? Who? Who? Yes. Teach him. Can I? Yes. Go ahead. Okay. Henry is the pronoun. Hey. And the other one is him. 
Yes, him is the pronoun. Okay. Perfect. All right, Alex, do you understand? So Jerry is the noun, and him is the the pronoun. Okay, 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 I got it, yes. All right. Um, Angel, Perdomo? Okay. Have you seen the eraser? The noun is eraser. Perfect. Um, Alexander, do you want to do the next one, number five? What did you can you number five? Uh, the lab was stopped. The lab. No, lock. What does that mean, lock? Yes, so lock is the noun. Yeah. All right, so the lock is like a key lock. Key lock? Yes. Okay, lock is the noun, teacher. Perfect. Um, Chun Huang? Yes. Can you number six for us? Yes. He purchased the ice the ice cream with him. Mm-hmm. Uh, now in uh, this uh, case, a uh, the ice cream. Perfect. The ice cream. Question. Can you number seven for us? Yes. Other people tire more easily. Older. Older. Perfect. Frelkar. Hey, Steven. Right. Steven is a honest. He's an adjective. Yes, honest is the adjective. Honest. Yes. <coughs> um, Samira, can you number nine for us? Uh, n- number nine. Uh, kind people are often rewarded. Uh, the adjective is kind. Perfect. The adjective is kind. And Shinri, can you number ten for us? Number ten. The officer ran faster. Ran faster. The underwear is faster. Fast. Yeah. Fast. 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 Uh, yes. Yeah. Alex, can you do number 11 for us? Yes, my sister answered the question intelligently. Uh, that there is um, uh, questions. Mm, no questions are questions is a noun here. Mm, uh, oh, oh, intelligently. Yes, yeah. intelligently. Okay. Perfect. And let's skip down a little bit. Let's do one of the conjunctions. Um, who's next? Uh, I think. Who is next? I forget. Is it Samira? For which one? Number 19. 19. 19. Mm -hmm. Uh, I cannot go uh, for I have too much to do. Mm -hmm. Conjunction 4, I think. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Okay, so conjunction here is four. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so we're good on that. Now we're going to do a little bit more of a speaking exercise and creating our own sentences. Okay? So in this part, um, this exercise is called body movement. All right. Body movement. Okay. So we have all these words. So we have all these words that we can use. All right. That um, to fill in these sentences, these nine sentences. Okay. Okay. All right. So I put them in the chat box. Squeeze. Bend, pinch, flex, fist, lift, 
reach, extend, behind. All right. So we're going to look at the picture. All right. And then we're going to fill out the sentence and create the last part of the sentence out of our imagination. Okay. So I'll do the first one. I extended my hand when I met the owner. When I met the owner? So the first one. Okay. Hey. Right, so the first one I did, I extend and when I meet the owner. Who wants to try number two using using one of these words, okay, um, and then make up the last part of the sentence, all right? So you can say anything you want. All right. What does uh, that mean? Bang, teacher? I, I, they're all different words. I do the second one? Yes. Can I do ahead. a second one? Yes. I squeezed the duck's neck because I was nervous. Perfect. Perfect. I squeezed the duck's neck because I was nervous. Perfect. Great. Um, who wants to try number three? Number three, I would like. Go ahead. Okay, then I flash forward to touch my toes when. Oh God. When I do exercise? So the last part is fine, but flex wouldn't be the right word, we, the right verb to use here. What does, what does he look like he's doing here? Uh, stretching. Yes, yeah, stretching along those same lines. Yeah. Okay. So, I... so what will be the what will be the the better verb to use here, out of these? Um, yes. Okay. Yeah, I flat and the same. I yes. play forward to touch uh, my toes when I explain something like that, teacher, I don't know. Yes, exactly. When I exactly. do exercise. When I yes. do exercise. When I do exercise. When I, when I, when exercise. I do exercise. Yeah. So I bend forward. I bend forward. Okay. okay Who wants okay. to try number four? Angel, can you try number four for us? He uh, I can't really hear you, Angel. I can't really hear oh, you. Why? Um, That's a... Let's see. Alexander, you want to try number four for us? Um, I can hear better my teacher. Can everyone hear me? Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, Bell card, you want to try number four for us? Can you try number four for us, Bell card? Frelkar? He's trolling. Maybe he's not there. He's um, let's see. Uh, can, he, can I say the Yeah, you can try number four. Okay. He's showing his muscle. He's showing. No. no. So think about, no. think about using one of these words. Yeah. What would be the best the, word? Okay. Teacher, uh, I can try. Go ahead. 
Okay, uh, number four. Um, he bent his muscles uh, because he's a uh, physiculturist. So we just we used bend already. Let's try to use another word. Which one of these words do you think? That's that's it. He lift. Uh, pinch, I think. Mm, not quite. Close. Pinch. His bang. His arm. Can see lift. So this one is a little bit difficult, but it's flex. Right. Okay. So he. His bang. His moves. He flexes his muscles. Um, when he goes to the gym, all right? Okay. Okay. So, what about number five? You can try number five for me. Okay, I make a fist. Yes. yes. When when I have a fight. Pinch. Perfect. I make a fist when I have a fight. Perfect. Um, let's see. Uh, Shin Wong. I love his presentation. Shin Huang. Huang. Yes. Can you number six for us? Uh, I, I, I don't know uh, what in this. <laughs> So, looking at the picture, what one of these words, which one of these words best fits the picture? Can I? Yes, go ahead. I just squeeze my nose because I have to. Perfect. I kind of heard what you said, but for everyone else to hear, he said, I pinched my nose because I have to. Because I have the flu. I have the flu. Alright, so I pinched my nose. Alright. And let's see. Let's try number seven. Who wants to try number seven for me? Uh, 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 I try. I will try. I give it a try. Okay. I give it a try. He puts his arms around, uh, behind his head. Behind his head. When, when he was tired. Perfect. He puts his arm behind his head. Who wants to try number eight for me? Let's see, uh, Omar. Um, uh, they jump for the ball. Yeah. They jump for the ball. Uh, I don't. I yeah. don't know. Yeah, that that works. They jump for the ball at the basketball court. Yeah. Yeah. For the ball at the back. Perfect. And who wants to try the last one for me, number nine? Just fishing, fresh,ing her body. Oh, just fresh,ing her hands when she is doing yoga. Yeah. She. Hi. Yep, that works. She stretches her hands when she is doing yoga. Okay. All right, perfect. Okay. Now we're going to do some vocabulary, all right? And we're going to work on this for the last 15 minutes of class, okay? So this is all about prefixes, suffixes, and roots, okay? All right. 
So using prefixes, suffixes, and roots to find the meaning of a word. To understand the meaning of a long word, you can often divide the word into parts. Okay? So in, in English, um, like in a lot of other languages, um, there's long words, but it's easier to divide it into three parts, the prefix, the suffix, the root, um, to find out what the word means. Okay? Um, look, at the, look at this word, unjustifiable. Okay? To better understand its meaning, you can divide the word into three parts. Un, the pre which means not, okay? So this prefix means not. Justify, yeah. which right. is the verb, means to give a good reason for. And able means can or have the ability to, to do something. All right? So unjustifiable means not having the ability to give a good reason. Yeah. Right? So you put it all together after you break it up into three different words. All right? Killing innocent people is unjustifiable. Okay? There's no good reason for killing innocent people. Okay? The word unjustifiable is created out of three parts. Un is a prefix. It comes before the main part of the word. All right? So pre meaning before. All right? Another prefix of a prefix. <laughs> okay? All right. Um, justify is the root. All right. That's the main part of the word. Okay. All right. Root is the main part of the word. And able is the suffix. The suffix comes after the main part of the word. Okay. All right. So those are three parts of every word, okay? Prefix, prefix, root, suffix, in that order, okay? Like many suffixes, it changes the part of speech. Um, it can become a verb or an adjective, okay? So suffixes tend to determine whether the word is a verb or an adjective, okay? Okay. So here are some common prefixes, roots, and suffixes that you'll see in the English language. Okay? And becoming familiar with these will it can help you guess the meaning of many words, mm -hmm. like like a million words, okay? <laughs> All right. if, we just, if we just know these <laughs> basics. Right? So the prefix A an or ab mean usually means not okay it's usually mm -hmm. negative anti means against d or d means away from think of the word distance for example okay okay contra or contro means against this should be easy for Spanish speakers. It's the same word, right? Um, X or X. Yes. What does that mean against? In against Spanish? means, well, I'm saying contra, right? right? Okay, okay. Yeah, you see, it's the same. It's just basically the same word, right? But okay. in English, we pronounce it contra. Okay. Um, and that whenever that word starts off, Whenever a word starts with a contra, like for example, contradict. Okay, okay. that means like to um, go, go against something. To go against. Okay, I'm asking you because I have seen that word so many times in my Bible. You have what? Um, I I'm asking I I am asking you that because I have seen that word so many times in my Bible. When uh, I am reading. Oh yeah, yeah. So whenever you see a word start off with 
with uh, start begin with contra or contro, it means against. Okay. Okay. All right. X or extra means from, out of, or former. Okay. N or M means into or not. All right. Enter means in between. Re means back again, back or again. All right. Think of the words. Um, recycle. Okay. So we have all these words that begin with re. That means back or again. All right. Super usually means above or extra. Sim means with or together. Trans means across or over. And un means not. Okay? So whenever words start with un or a, an, or ab, they usually mean not. Okay? Any questions so far? No. No? Okay. And we're going to do exercises to um, <laughs> reinforce what we're learning right now. And these are some common roots. Cron. Teacher. Yes? Uh, yes. In order to understand the suffix and the prefix, you maybe give, give us more examples. Yes, exactly. I'm going to I'm going to do that in a bit after we just go over the common roots and suffixes. We have examples down here. But uh, this class is uh, only 5 minutes left. Yes, I know. <laughs> Thanks. I got it. So, these are some common roots. Cron, which means time, dict which means tell or say. Duck, meaning lead, bring, or take. Form, meaning make or shape. Path, feeling or disease. Morph, meaning form. Port, meaning carry. Spick or spect, meaning look or see. Like, for example, spectacles. All right. Okay. Terra meaning land or earth. Think of the word tierra, right? It's the same okay. thing. It's the same thing. All right, yeah. Vert meaning turn and viz or vid meaning see. And you can think of like vird. Right? Same roots, same words are basically the same, okay? <laughs> Um, and these are the suffixes, all right? So there's different suffixes, adjective suffixes, noun suffixes, and verb suffixes. The verb suffixes end with eight, phi, or is, meaning to make. Noun suffixes, eon, ness, tie, or ending with y, in a state or condition. Er or and est means one who ship hood usually means referring to ology usually means a study of as in biology psychology pharmacology etc okay able or able ick us and ending with y means having a quality. Al means referring to. And full, having a lot of a quality. Okay? So we just went over that really quickly. Now we're just going to do some exercises, okay? And see if we can figure out what some of these words mean. All right? So what we're going to do first is divide the words below into the parts, the prefix, identify what words are 
the prefix, the root, and the suffix, okay? All right, identify the prefix, root, suffix of each word, and then combine the meanings of each part, all right, to find out the general meaning of the word, all right? And then use the suffix to identify the part of speech, whether it's a noun or an adjective, okay? And we, we'll keep going, we'll go back up to this to look for meanings, okay? So, let's see, the first one, um, let's see, Angel, Perdomo? Yes. Uh, yeah. Actually, uh, yeah. wait, wait, there's a lot of noise by you. I can't really hear you properly. Um, um, let's come back to you. Um, Chen Wong? Wong? Yes? Chen, uh, do you want to try contradiction for us? Can you tell me what's the prefix, the root, and the suffix in this word? Chen Fik is contra. Contra? Yes. So, contra is a prefix. What's the root? Uh, root is um, dick. And what's yes. the uh, what's the suffix? Suffix is in. In. Ian. Yes. Y yes. Ian. Perfect. Um, so, can you tell me what part of speech it is? Let's go back up to here. So words ending in eon. Eon now suffixes. So it's a noun. Perfect. Yes. Okay, so it's a noun. And can you tell me the meaning of the word? So what does contra mean? The prefix. Oh. <laughs> hey, Sorry, again, I, I don't know. Against. Against. Against, perfect. <laughs> what does de what does wow. the root mean? Again? Oh, I can hear you. What does what does the root mean? Dict. Hey all. So it means saying or telling, right? Okay. So if you put it all together, what do we think contradiction means? What do we think contradiction means? Put all together. If contra means against, and dict means saying or telling, what does it all mean all together? Pathology. No idea? Apology. Apology? No, not an apology. Contradiction, you say? So that's what that's what that word is. Against plus saying or telling. Who can flesh it out for me and give me a solid meaning? So contradiction means going against what someone says. Repetition. So it means going against what someone says. 
Okay. All right. Does that does everyone understand how we got to that? The prefix is contra, means against. Dict oh, so. is the root, meaning saying or telling. All right, and when we put it all together, we get going against what someone says or being against what someone is saying or telling. Okay? Okay. All right, so we have to stop there. That was just a quick introduction to how to break up a word in English, okay? Okay. Just remember whenever you're, you don't know a meaning of a word, break it up into the prefix, the root, and the suffix, okay? You can figure out the part of speech from the suffix, all right? And we're going to stop.